I came out here around four o'clock and it was just too rough, so I stayed inside for a little bit. I met an old guy that gave me a bunch of his leftover bait. So I've got like two or three dozen pilchers, which are awesome baits, man. Look at that. All right, I'm sending that first bait down to the bottom. I started in like 75 feet, pretty much going north, so. Start this track and then I'll bump out to 85 and then 95 and I'll just keep setting up drift, covering ground. Just hit bottom with my first bait. I'm already off the wreck, so I know there's nothing really chasing me. He would have already got eaten. Battle that one. Oh. Check that out, baby. Let me tell you something. When you don't give up, weather's bad, you go back inside, wait it out, check the radar. Always pays off. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! I ain't gonna lie, I'm exhausted. I just set up my second drip. It's a little bumpy out here, but got two bottom lines out. I got one with an eight ounce lead and one with a 12 ounce lead. The 12 ounce lead's holding bottom, so it's not really coming up as I drift. The eight ounce lead is coming up, which is all right, because I have this one on the bottom. Nice to have another line, you know, higher up in the water column so you can cover different levels of the water column.
got me a cereal. Just lost one fish. My second line got hit. Nice and easy to the top. Let's see. Feels like a small mutton. Take that mangrove all day. It's a beautiful mangrove. All right, picked up a nice little mangrove there. Picked up that little uh, zero. Super excited about that zero. I love zero sashimi. All right, I'm gonna set up one more drift. I'm gonna put two baits down. I'm gonna do like the same exact area that I've been getting hit on. Let's see if we can pick up one more. I'll double up real quick.
Yo, let's go. Look at those marks. Kuda almost got him. I always say one more drift. Oh God, that's what I'm talking about. All right, not a bad little trip. A few hours after work, get in where you fit in. Ooh wee, El Mato, almost got eaten by a Cuda. I got lucky, so did he. I come out for a couple hours after work, between the hours of like four and eight. Just try to get in what I can, you know? If I don't do that, I probably wouldn't fish till the weekends and that ain't what I'm about. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Check out the other videos I have posted. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll catch you on the next episode. That's it, boys. Sun's going down. FWC just tried to hit me up. But they see me. They know how we do. We be fishing. They know we ain't cutting no corners. Appreciate you guys tuning in, man. I'll catch you guys on the next episode, all right?